hello everyone welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to understand how to fix this particular error now if you're already a react native developer or you have started working in this technology then it is probably a very big possibility that you might come across this particular error and uh, there are some times that we are able to figure out how to fix this but there are chances that you might not figure out how to fix this problem because I myself when I started developing react native applications and I was just starting with this particular technology I came across this particular error multiple times and it was just impossible sometimes to fix it but until I found out the solution to fix this error for once and for all I came up with a solution that works wonders for me i hope it works for you so let me show you one screenshot so if you might have been working in one of the applications and you start and you want it to work on a, an emulator an android emulator and if you're trying to basically run it on an emulator rather than a device uh, but uh, you come up with this error so this thing happens when you run this particular command npx react native run android which is the command to run the application on an emulator what happens is it starts making the processes work but then it fails when it is trying to launch the emulator which is from the android studio right and once it starts failing there it also fails in installing the application because the device is not ready yet so what happens it it runs into this error and gives you that app installing install debug failed right and further it keeps on failing and failing and finally it gives that build fail with an exception right so in this particular video we are going to see how to fix this particular error so let's get start with it so as you can see guys that I am already in my project uh, which is the Visual Studio Code and it is just a simple project. I haven't done any coding in it. So we are going to just see how this particular error will be resolved right so uh, as you can see i've already opened a react native application so if you are learning how to fix this particular error uh, then you can just make a new project or you can just start fixing it right away in your already working applications right so uh, yeah now what we need to do is as i can see you into the terminal this error has already come up in my application so I am trying to fix it uh, so what I need to do is go into the Android studio which is already open in my case and uh, let me just show you I, I will close this uh, and uh, yeah, I will just close this project and I will show you how to basically do that so when you come up with this Android studio so you will be given with this um, you know page where you are supposed to open your project so you need to open the project that you're working right and uh, when you do that uh, it is going to run a few gradles or daemons and uh, you need to just wait for it to you know uh, go still when it does and it is done with all its processing you need to first go and uh, uh, do a few things you need to go and see if this uh, invalidate cache and restart is active or not because unless and until the processes are done this particular thing will come to you as blurred or uh, deactivated right so you need to first let the things get fine with it and uh, you can just uh, invalidate cache and restart so in my case I've already done it for you I'll do it again so let me just do that So as you can see, I've already uh, it has already started restarted, and uh, as you can see, it is scanning and indexing and everything. It's doing it is checking the entire project, and it is uh, going through the entire build, and it will be doing all the processes again. So it is kind of a refresh that you give to your build, right? So it is very important because if at any point your build is having some issues then it is going to resolve it for you right so invalidate cache and restart is very important so i'll wait for it to complete So 
basically all the processes have been done uh, as you can see there are no other processes that are pending so it has done doing the fixes on its own part right now next thing that you need to do is in case you are coming up with this issue then you need to first clear the cache of your emulator so if you have already downloaded a emulator you need to just go here and avd manager and you will just go and uh, clear all the wipe the data because you need you don't need to have the data in the man avd so you can just clear it up so that the uh, the emulator is refreshed as well to take on the new processes in a new and refreshed manner right so you need to do this and i have done it as you can see all the data or the previous uh, loading reloading whatever was done in the, and was stored in the buffer has been released all the cache has been released now my uh, avd or the android virtual device is ready to take on all the new commands and processes so i'll just uh, close this window for now okay and i'm done doing that as well now i will just go and test if my project is working or not right so let's do that so this is my project uh, into the pile explorer so i'll just open it in the cmd or the control prompt uh, control prompt right uh, so now i'm going to first run the metro bundler now because the metro bundler sometimes causes the problem while you are trying to run your application on an emulator so you can try you know uh, starting the metro bundler separately and try running your application on your emulator with that particular command separately right as you can all as you already know that the npx react native run android does the entire task as a collective but in my case i want the metro bundler to work differently right so uh, because it can still give me errors for your convenience i'm going to show you that error let's see if it runs into that particular problem or not sometimes it might work sometimes it doesn't uh, so i'll just take a risk as you can see it actually ran, it ran into the same problem again so i am going to try another fix for it so i'm going to run my metro bundler separately basically what it is doing it is trying to run the metro bundler as well as the emulator all at once but sometimes the command is not able to process both the things properly so you know there are chances that your uh, command might run into this problem or is not able to do its processes properly right so it uh, just uh, uh, ends into a failed launch of emulator and finally the app is not able to install right basically run this command right so it is going to do what it is going to reset the cache of my metro bundler right so as i run my commands using npx otherwise my system is not able to read these commands so i just added npx to it uh, and my metro bundler has started working properly because otherwise it is causing problems uh, so as it is already working now i'll be trying to run my emulator separately right so i'll just uh, go for it and i'll just open my visual studio code for you uh yeah now i'll be running the command for um run android right so let's just see uh if it will be working or not also just close your previous emulators if they're already open uh, as it would help it to reopen it and uh, do the processes all over again for you so as you can see this is metro bundler window and uh, let's see yeah successfully it launched the emulator successfully because the metro bundler is already working for it so uh, it will it is also installing the application the process are working fine as far as i can see uh, let's just see if uh, it uh, might cause some problem or not yes the build was successful and my app is opening already so as you can see the 
application worked fine uh, i don't know why this emulator is showing me google calendar so let's me let me just close it for you um yeah let's just see where is so as you can see this is my application and when i open it uh, it is going to run the metro bundler for me again see it is already connected to the metro bundler and my application is going to open absolutely fine as it is a starting react native project so it is not going to have anything new in it so it is going to open just like a new react native project so as you can see my build is working fine and it is not going to run into any problems or not uh, uh, problems so yeah it has been fixed so you also try on your projects let me see if you uh, run into some kind of problems or not uh, and uh, do let me know into the comment section what kind of challenges you felt or any changes that you might have come up with or you have any other errors that you might want me to fix it for you i'll definitely try to f come up with some uh, content regarding that uh, and like share and subscribe guys really really makes me uh, do good and bring good content for my uh, viewers uh, so yeah as you can see my application is already working so see you next time guys i'll come up with some more errors regarding react native that you probably might face so yeah bye bye till then and do subscribe guys bye bye